Here's the Drake T4XB transmitter. I determined that I think the uh, PTO here is bad, so I'm looking at how to extract it. And this may help you on your adventures when you're working on restoring a TX4B by Drake. So this cover on the PTO is held in by clips, as you can see here, and a spring. So the spring comes off very easily. It's still here. Anyway, I took the spring off just by unhooking the spring out of this hole. And I removed all the tubes because you don't want to be knocking into those. And I simply loosen this up by applying a screwdriver down here and move the hooks a bit. Be careful though. And really, I just gave this a good tug and it came off, but that's probably not how to do it correctly. And as you can see, the little hooks here do hook into the metal. If you look at those hooks really carefully, they hook into the metal. And so you probably want to squeeze this thing. I'm not sure how this thing deforms correctly. I think when it when you squeeze it, it will deform vertically and bow up, but I guess I didn't break this thing by just yanking it off. Didn't hurt the BFO, the PTO, but it's probably not the correct way to do it. Okay, so inside here, here's the PTO. You don't want to be knocking this around a whole lot, but mine has low output, so I'm going to take it apart and figure out why. These screws you can just take out. You can reach these screws when you have the tubes all out with a screwdriver, so I was able to uh, reach those. It looks like these spacers are going to fall down. And that should loosen up the entire board. And once the board is loose, you want to basically desolder the board and uh, try to get it out. So I have one more screw to get out here and then this thing will come out. So I'm thinking that the buffer transistor in this thing is dead. I, I have oscillation from it, so it looks like the uh, FET is working, but I don't have anything. I don't have a good stable signal from it, so I'm going to go through it and take a look. I'm not sure what this wire is for. I wonder if this could be shorting. I'm not sure. That could be the FSK wire or something. Not sure. Okay, well, that's about it. Um, how does this look? You could probably replace the transistor, at least that one, without taking the board out, I would think. I'm not sure which one that is yet. I'm looking for the other one. I don't see it. Anyway, this is a PTO common in many of the late 60s Drake equipment. This PTO, when it works, is very stable, or it was when I was testing it uh, with a receiver and with a frequency counter. I found it was actually with a frequency generator, I found it was very stable on a receiver, so it seems to be compensated very well. All right, thanks for watching. I'm going to try and get this out and see how it goes. Have a great day.